Some lofty goals for populating the Chesapeake Bay with oysters over the next several years. Yeah, 10 billion new oysters to be exact. It's all thanks to a new partnership, new at 530, what it could mean for the waterway we treasure so much and the local economy. This is about 50 oysters. Imagine 10 billion of them. That's the goal thanks to a new partnership to restore the Chesapeake Bay by rebuilding its oyster population by the year 2025 and in turn creation of jobs and cleaner water. Lynn Haven River Now Executive Director Karen Forget says the more oysters in the water, the better. Oysters are Im amazing creatures. Oysters build habitat. They support biodiversity. She says oysters also act as a natural filtration system. A single oyster can filter 50 gallons of water a day and provide habitat to over 300 plant and animal species in the Chesapeake Bay. But the population here is low, in large part to pollution. So taking the oysters out of our ecosystem is like turning off the filter on your aquarium in your house. In the last 16 years, about 4 million oysters have been added to the Lynn Haven, but there's millions to be added. So getting 10 billion oysters in the Chesapeake and its tributaries is a big deal. A big deal for hatcheries too. That's where the oysters will come from. We enjoy boating and fishing and, and you know, just, just walking by the water. The water is really such an important part of our lives here. And water quality affects all of us. An ambitious but but important goal, she says, to revitalize the natural treasure we call the Chesapeake Bay.